What's up, GQ? This is Larry Tunsil, and these are my essentials. All right, so this is DGO. Man, this is AK Cinnamon, man. This is the first smell of, of cinnamon. That's why I call it AK Cinnamon. It's one of my favorites, and this is a must-have. This is Chanel Blue. I really don't have to say much about this. This is a statement right here. I'm just gonna leave that at that. Cologne is very important to me. This is this is like probably my number one that I gotta have. This is my mom's hand sanitizer. You, you gotta have this one thing I gotta keep on me, especially during this time. I'll probably go through a bottle like this in a, a month and a half, and it smells great, so. Funny story about Pocari Sweats. This is a, a Japanese drink kind of similar to Gatorade, but a backstory on this is uh, this pretty much saved my life because I had uh, an intense workout and I was cramping so bad. So my trainer, my trainer JD actually got me this and I kind of fell in love with it. And it's kind of like one of my most important drinks I like to have. Big Red, I gotta keep gum on me. Like I said, my hygiene is one of my most important things to me. And, and I kind of fell in love with Big Red. So a backstory on Big Red, I used to go to church with my grandmother and I used, to, <laughs> I used to fall asleep in church. So she used to give me gum to make me stay up in church. I still chew on it to this day. Cinnamon across the board, AKA cinnamon, you hear me? I do have a bad tendency of chewing gum while I play. I think every time I come off the sideline, I spit the Big Red out and then I put another piece in for the next drive. I don't even wear a mouthpiece. I, I, I kind of consider the Big Red to be my mouthpiece. Don't, don't tell the trainers. This is a Richard Milley, one of the uh, classiest watches, in my opinion, to have. If you walk into a table or a room with people who wear an AP or Audemars or, or whatever, right, and, and you just slap this on the table, like you gonna get so much respect with the Richard Bell. So this is kind of one of my favorite pieces, especially with the with the white and the red. How do you feel about wearing a watch in game? No sir, okay. <laughs> the respect to Odell, because I did see him do that. That was, that was swag too, it matches his uniform, but I, this is my baby, I can't put this on the field. And plus I'm in the trenches, so I'm banging every place. So I, nah, uh -uh. So this is actually my first watch. So I really don't have a deep watch collection, but this is, I think this might be my only piece. Chapstick, Vaseline, you use this for anything, trust. Put it on your head, your face, use it as lotion. Put it on your lips. Play. I gotta have cocoa butter. It, it can't be the regular Vaseline. It has to be the cocoa butter. I, I just can't let it be regular and be boring. I don't like to be boring. I like to be different. So this is my mom's seasoning. She makes, my mom makes everything. I love spicy food. I love my food to be seasoned and taste very well. So I kind of keep this on me everywhere I go. I pull up in a restaurant, I take this out and dump it all over my food. I, I gotta have spicy. But it's kind of like a Cajun seasoning, but it gives you a lot of flavor. My Duke seasoning, that's what I call it, my Duke seasoning. So if you want some, just at me, get in the DMs. This is my baby right here. I call this one uh, a Bigetti choker. Bigetti, it's Bigetti, but Bigetti, right? Wipe your nose, right? Hey, this is like one of my fashion pieces I like to keep on me. It's a choker, so I can just keep it real low key, real smooth. Shout out to Zoe Frost for hooking me up with this and the Richard Millie. This is one of my favorite pieces, so I gotta keep this on me. I got these Beats headphones. It's, it's also one of the important things to me because I love music. I, I gotta keep some headphones on me just to just to unwind and, 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 and listen, to some, listen to some tunes. So please don't make fun of me when I tell you what I listen to before the game. So I like to be calm before I enter the war. So I listen to Eric Badu, Sade, Lauryn Hill, all the throwbacks, slow R&B songs. That's just, that's just who I am, I love. I love slow jams, don't judge me, but that's one of my go-tos for sure, Sade, Erica Badu, and Lauryn Hill. So I picked up my piano when all this, when the pandemic, the COVID-19 started. And uh, I've always been a huge fan of the keys. They, they're so warm and so soft and you can just play it to anything. I've been learning, man, it's been pretty fun. Uh, I know a couple of Drake songs, I know a couple of uh, Giveon songs, and I know a couple of like 624, R&B progression song, so I'm, I'm getting there. Still a lot of still a lot of work to be done, but I'm getting there. I got a couple different hats on me. I, I, these is one of the main pieces for me because I'm bald headed and, and everywhere I go seems to be so damn hot, <laughs> and I gotta protect my head. But 
this is one of like a, a fashion statement to me also, just having like some swag hats. I got the Supreme hat, the corduroy Supreme hat, probably one of my favorite hats. And I, and I had to get this Root hat because Root is very, he's popping right now with all his pieces and you know, I just had to join the wave. And I actually got this hat right here in, in a, uh, Cali. It's a Playboy hat, a fashion piece too. And the one on my head is a Dior. Dior uh, pastel pink hat. Pastel pink kind of grew on me as one of my favorite colors. I always collect the hats. Appreciate it, GQ for checking out my essentials. Check me out during the season. Follow me on IG, Twitter.